it's Debbie with Pip's Corner. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome aboard. This is part three of a multi-part series on making a journal from the very beginning to the end. In part one, we worked with um, a Reader's Digest condensed book cover, an old cover that was falling apart, and got some fabric on it, looked at what the, the plan was overall, and in part two, we worked on this mixed media plate that's going to go on the cover and when I left part two I had just put some crackle paste see if I can get that in there on the edges and it's cracked nicely there you go and I've since put a, a, another coat of black gesso over the entire thing so today I'm going to add a little bit of color I'm going to use um, this is Prima acrylic paint, metallic, steampunk copper. It's a very pretty brownish color. This material has some browns in it um, that I thought would be nice to pull a little bit of that out. And then I'm going to use metallic wax in old silver, also by Prima. So let's get started. This can be a kind of a tedious process, and so I am not, probably not going to film the entire thing, but I'll get it started and finish it up off camera likely. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with some of this steampunk copper, and I'm going to dry butt brush. By dry brush, I mean um, I'm going to get a tiny bit of paint on my brush. I'm basically going to take it right off. So there's very, very little on the brush. That's, that's the meaning of dry brush. I'm going to come in here into some of these background areas and just pull, pull this out a little bit. Get some color, not color, because <laughs> it's a black and white journal. But just get some some highlights in there and at this stage I'm not going to worry much about it being neat or what I areas I want to cover versus what I don't um, because I will follow up with that later so I'm just going to go over this in several places And I'll do, let's see, I'll work on this little area by the butterfly here. And I'm just dry brushing and dry brushing. You can see how the highlights of the metal piece begin to come out. And I don't want a ton of this copper color on there, but I do want it enough where you can kind of see some of that color come through. Okay, and I'll just keep going over. Oop, got that a little dark, that's okay. That's okay. Let's even it up. Try to even it up. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna do this area here. And just sloppy mess, which is fine. It's okay if it's sloppy. Do you wanna get some down into that background? Okay. Let me stop there. All right, now the real hero here is going to be the metal the silver wax. I just, unless I'm in a, a tight spot, I just use my finger on this and just kind of get some into, um, on my finger. It's probably not the best thing to do. And now I'm just going to lightly brush areas. And 
I get engrossed in what I'm doing. This is actually easier for me to do if I'm not trying to talk at the same time. And there we go. So you can see how we begin to get the mix of just ever so slightly that copper kind of poking through um, in just a few places. And, but the silver, as I said, is really the hero here. And there we have it. So when this is done, <laughs> when this is done, I'll throw it. When this is done, this piece will sit on here like this. It won't just sit here, I'll affix it like that. And that'll be the front cover. So hopefully that, you can begin to see that. So um, this is just a, this was just a, quick video just for me to show you the technique very quickly. Um, let me get a little bit, I'll do a, just another area here very quickly. And then I'm going to go off into my merry land of quiet time and go work on this. When you do these types of things, it's not Unusual to go back over them multiple times. That's okay. Let's see if I can get down in there. And there we go. And I will play with this little further now and come back to you when she's done. But hopefully that gives you enough of an idea of the game plan here and what it's going to look like. Um, if anybody has any questions about this type of technique about dry brushing, just let me know. I probably won't have the answer, but I will. <laughs> I might be able to direct you someplace that does. There you go. And it's just a sloppy kind of, like I said, I just want to get some of that copper on there. Back here in the backgrounds. And then I will get the silver on top. So it's a mess now, um, and it might be a mess when I'm done, but we'll see, and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, hopefully that was enough to, uh, to show you how I did this. It is now finished, and I ended up using two different waxes. I ended up using a, um, a, a same metallic wax, the old silver, and then the bronze age I think it's called to get a little bit of more of that bronzy color in there in addition to the tiny bit of copper that I put in the background so copper and bronze and silver mostly silver as you may notice as I'm showing this to you I've got it affixed to the cover that part is done ready to go this cover is now as done as it's going to get until I come back to it at the very, very end of the process. However, you can see that it's a pretty, pretty, pretty black, sort of almost embossed, there you go, an embossed fabric. I don't know what they call that. I'm sure it's called something, but it is gorgeous. But it's not this. It's not the fabric that I planned on using. <laughs> Okay, so here's what happened. I happened. This happens. It's okay. Um, I had an idea. I began to put the things together, and I just didn't like it. I wasn't happy with it. So rather than scrap the whole project and say, ah, pfft, um, I decided 
to just pick a different fabric. I think what I wasn't happy with, I liked this the plate, the mixed media plate by itself. I really um, am happy with the way that turned out. And you can see after I put my pearl button on, oh, let me, whoops, hang on, let me go the other way. You can see I added some pearl pieces there and I added some pearl, p added, can't talk, some pearl pieces up here by the butterfly. So there's a few little pearly pieces on here. And then when I put this on to, I laid it on before I glued it on, thank goodness. I sat here staring at it and what was happening was the mixed media panel wasn't popping against this fabric. This fabric is gorgeous. The colors were off just enough when I added the bronze and the copper. That took it a different into a different sort of browns world than what was on this piece, and I just didn't like the two together. Just didn't like it. So I decided what I really needed in order to to for this to work was a solid black. I had a piece of satin that I put on here. And I just wasn't happy with that either. And I was a little concerned about the durability of a cover in the satin fabric. So I found, um, actually, so I ended up buying something for the journal. I remember I said I was gonna try not to, and well, I did. Um, but I found this fabric, put it together on another, um, another one of the Reader's Digest covers that I've got. And now, and then I added this, the lace on the front and the back. And now I'm happy with it. So now I've got the black and the white or cream, whatever color you want to call that, on the front with the mixed media panel with the silver going on, which is just ever so slight touch of um, the bronze and the copper colors in the background. So it's very subtle um, and I'm happy with it. I will put, let's see, I'll show you. At this stage, I will not be doing any more to this until I come back in and, and finalize, final, final, finalize the piece. Once I do that, I will affix a, a sari silk closure, and I think I'll use a cream colored, and that ought to tie those two pieces in. And then here on my, on my corners, I will do a silver, kind of gives you an idea of what that'll look like. I'll do silver, oops, corners. So I will film that or I will attempt to film it and hopefully I'll do a better job of filming it than I did this piece. But it is hard. I get very engrossed in what I'm doing and find that I'm not talking and I didn't want you to be totally bored with me just going layer and layer and layer and back over this. And so I just stopped the video and concentrated on what I'm doing, what I was doing at the time. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, I'm glad I did. But if anybody has any questions about the technique and about what I was doing or how I was doing it, um, if the, the footage that I do have is not enough for you, please let me know. I'm happy to try to explain it further. Now, so for this, <laughs> here, let me, I like throwing things, right? So for this baby, next step is to work on the signatures. I've got some tea dyeing to do. Um, I'm not planning to record tea dyeing, but once I've got that stage done, um, I will record the assembly and how I, my thought process be behind what goes inside the book. So that'll be the next step, the next um, video that you'll see posted. For this guy, all is not lost. It is a beautiful piece of fabric. I absolutely love it. Um, I do still want to use it. It's like I've gotten something all over it, Amy. Um, I'll clean it up. So I began to look at, I began thinking then, you know, a little bit in, in advance about what I might do with it in my next video. And I've got these gold plates and gold covers. And now I really like the way that gold pulls these brown colors in. And I'm happy with that. I'll put some trim here of some sort and um, you get the idea. So that'll be for a future journal. Uh, I will set this aside until I'm ready to work on it. Deciding now, and this is another case where, so in this case, I had the whole idea for the journal all at one time. In this case, I've kind of got the cover. Now I have to think about what I want to do on the inside. And then other cases, I kind of have the inside done first, and then I got to figure out what I want to do on the cover. So there is no 
um, set process here, which is the beauty kind of of this. It is what it is and it's whatever works. And however the ideas flow, however the creativity flows, um, and sometimes it doesn't flow. <laughs> sometimes you you have, you think it's gonna work and you decide it's not, um, but that's okay because the result here ended up being um, a really, a very pretty, this, this handkerchief is here by the way because I have a horrible glare. Anyway, uh, this ended up being um, something that I'm happy with. So now the goal is to be happy with the insides. So that's up next, and um, until then, thank you so much for watching. For my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, but you've been watching this series, please consider doing so, and until we meet again, thank you, bye-bye.